All right, budget magic time. Playing some green, black, whip leap, leap whip, something in modern. And all right, we'll try this. Seems sketchy, but reasonable since we have leap. Opponent leads on a flame blade adept. Aye. Okay. So our opponent's playing something pretty aggressive. Well, that's land of war ways and inquisition. We will take faithless looting and pass the turn. Opponent gets in for one. So we're going to need to get some creatures on the battlefield, basically. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent passes. Well, that's Inquisition. Not going to get any better. Opponent bolts our face down to 14. Angler Swamp. Well, play Temple. We have our whip plan if we can get stuff in the graveyard. I guess we keep Secure Tribe Elder. That's not an insane whip target, but it is a whip target. Opponent's going to be able to looting, which is not ideal. Or Burning Inquiry. Well, this might be okay for us. It does make Flame Blade Adept huge. And they did not discard Gurmag Angler. Oh, goodness. Opponent beat the odds, and we discarded our good stuff. And they get Black a Flame Wake. Oh, my goodness. Flame Wake Phoenix. Jeez. That went as bad as possible. Our dis opponent discarded Flame Wing Phoenix in three lands. And, yeah, we're... we're I won't scoop, because I don't want to get yelled at. We'll play Evolutionary Leap. We are dead, though. We are 100 plus percent dead. That Burning Inquiry was way better for our opponent than it was for us. Oh my god. Well, at least they discarded their Angler this time. Still dead, though. Man, Burning Inquiry into Burning Inquiry. Well, you go, opponent. In general, Burning Inquiry isn't bad for us, but the fact that... It's been so helpful for our opponent. is definitely killing us. What, they drew another angler? You gotta be joking. <laughs> well, embrace the randomness, I guess. Good God. Okay, okay. Embrace the randomness. We will bring in Shriek Maws. We will bring in Tormod's Crips. We will go down... What are we going down? Um... Acidic Slime seems pretty lacking. Mind Slicer, probably not ideal when our opponent's trying to fill their graveyard. Go down one Land of War Elves, and maybe this is this is as good as it gets, unfortunately. Now let's go on one Inquisition. Let's try it like that. Whew! Well, hopefully not all of our opponent's draws and discards are that good. We get to play first. All right. Awkward. We need... Well, I guess this hand is actually pretty good. Just kidding. I actually like this hand. We got a removal spell. We got our Tormod script. We got some ramp. Got a Grizzly Salvage. So this is actually about what we're looking for. Let's play a forest. Play Llanowar Elves. And let's run out Tormod script. Just in case our opponent starts to do some graveyard shenanigans. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent cracks it. Mountain and Flay Blade Adept. Well, let's just play the Swamp, and we're just going to evoke a Shriek Maw. Get rid of this Flame Blade. Once and for all. Get in with our Llanowar Elves. Might as well. And pass the turn. Opponent. Cycle Street Wraith. Are they on the Hollow One? Oh boy. If they go like Hollow One, Hollow One, I'm going to be very sad. Oh man. Oh, I know how this ends. This ends... Oh my goodness! No, no, no hollow ones. Come on, come on, no hollow ones. Or at least one hollow one is okay. But if they have two hollow ones... Alright, random madness spell. Sure. Going to return the Street Wraith to do some more cycling. Cycle Street Wraith, down to 12. Bloodgast, I think we let that go. It's just a Bloodgast. Cracks Bloodstained Mire. Gets a Swamp. Well, maybe we should have Tormod scripted. I guess in hindsight. Play a Sakura Tribe Elder. Play a Swamp. Pass the turn. Yeah, in hindsight, it probably would have been better just to... Just to nuke the graveyard, I guess. Well, that's Grizzly Salvage. Opponent has a Lightning Bolt, of course. I guess we just take another Sakura Tribe Elder. Sure. 
opponent in the tank. Yeah, definitely regretting not cracking Tormod's Crypt. Was focused on opponent playing a bunch of hollow ones, but instead it was Gurmag Angler. Goes attacking, goes attacking. Well, we'll just block Angler, Saxacur Tribe Elder, grab a forest, take two, maybe. What are you doing, opponent? All right, there we go. Take two, Verdant Catacombs, opponent passes. We'll play Sakura Tribe Elder, play Hissing Quagmire, pass the turn. Opponent cracks down to 10. Blood Crypt tapped. Well, if our opponent can't do something else explosive, we do get down Green Warden next turn. Opponent gets in. So block Gurmag Angler. Sacrifice Sakura Tribe Elder. Grab a Swamp. Take two. Down to 16. Cathartic Reunion. Pitch in some Blood Moons. Cycle Street Wraith. Flame Blade Adept. Well, let's Green Warden get back Evolving Wilds. Play Evolving Wilds. So this gives us a chance of blocking with Green Warden, getting back Whip, Burning Inquiry. Okay. We did not end up with an untapped land in hand. Opponent attacks, attacks, attacks. Does not attack. Well, we will block your blood ghast. I guess they're just going to play a land and get it back, but there's no reason to take damage. Call to the Netherworld gets back Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. They are also down to six, which is close to being dead. Gets back blood ghast. Well, crack this. Grab a forest. Hmm. I think we just cast Shriek Maw and kill Flame Blade Adept. I think that's better than Rune Scar Demon. Because that Flame Blade Adept is the easiest way that we can just lose. Do we attack? Opponent probably block. If they don't block... Yeah, let's pass. I think we'd rather play defense with Green Warden. Now what we're looking at... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 6. Now what we're looking at is hopefully blocking with Green Warden... Getting back Grizzly Salvage and Grizzly Salvaging to try to find Emrakul, I think, is our best line. All right, there's Flame Wake Phoenix. So that's nugging us for two. I mean, worst case, nothing happens, and we cast Roomscar Demon and have a 6-6 six, six fire, which is reasonable. Opponent gets in for two. We'll take it. So Emrakul off the top is our best draw. Opponent passes. Ooh, Eternal Witness. So we could get back and play Whip and start gaining life. I bet our opponent blocks here. We could get back Shriek Maw. That's not great. We'd go up to 15 if we attacked with Green Warden. Let's just Runescar Demon. I think this is fine. Runescar Demon, tutor up Emrakul, and just play defense one more turn. It seems like it should be hard for our opponent to 10 us here. And if we cast Emrakul, we win. It should be hard to, for us to lose after we Emrakul. Opponent, three mana, Faithless Looting, sure, we'll let that go. They might be looking for Burning Inquiry to get rid of Emrakul, or whatever we tutored for. They don't know it's Emrakul. The other problem they have is we can just block Flame Weak Phoenix and attack with the Scar Demon, because this has to attack, and our opponent scoops it up. Sweet. We got there. We got there. We got there. Whoo. Uh, yeah, let's run it back. Hope for the best. All right, we'll give this a shot. We'll see. We can kill something. We got a Wayfinder. We even have a Whip if we can make the game go long enough. So we'll see how this goes. Blood Crypt for our opponent. Untapped. And Thought Seize. Well, opponent has their choice here of many options. Thankfully, I have a bit of redundancy with Wayfinder and Grizzly Salvage. If we only had one, this would be a lot scarier. Opponent takes a Grizzly Salvage. I'll play Evolving Wilds, pass a G-turn. Bloodstain Mire for our opponent, cracks it. See how explosive our opponent's hand is. Gets a Mountain. Faithless Looting. Well, they might just be on the Angler plan, if they have an Angler. Yeah, it looks like Angler time. Oh, Hollow One time, alright. Well, crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a Forest. Play Land of Warways. 
play Seder Wayfinder. We really got to hit a land here. All right, get a forest. That was actually... Well, I guess that's okay. We have a crater hoof in the graveyard. We're... Ugh. Unfortunately, our Shriek Maw can't kill Hollow One. An annoying little quirk of Hollow One's artifactness. Faithful suiting and our greed to not pay life means we don't have mana for whip at the moment. Although we can, if we don't draw a black source, we can very slowly make it work by eternal witnessing back evolving wilds. Or maybe just Seder Wayfinder. Something. See if our opponent can keep adding to the board here with these faithless lootings. Another hollow one would mean they actually have a clock that's going to be a bit of a annoyance. All right, there's a land, so that means Bloodgast is coming back to play. Opponent, getting frisky. Well, we will chump with Seder Wayfinder. Opponent passes. Well, let's just play Secure Tribe Elder. Play a forest, pass the turn. Opponent, cracking Wooded Foothills. This is going to be super close. Gets a mountain. Opponent goes attacking. They can flash back a faithful suiting if they want. Well, block with Sakura Tribe Elder. Sack Sakura Tribe Elder. Get a swamp. I just wish we could straight up kill Hollow One. Cycle Street Wraith. Down to 11. Our Shriek Maw removal plan. Not good against this board. Opponent passes. Tormod's Crypt is not bad. Man, what if they have artifact removal? Yeah, we're going for it. Whip of Erebos. Play Tormod's Crypt. Pass the turn. Please tell me no artifact destruction. Bolt to 14. Opponent. Gets in, gets in. Hits us down to 8, which is a low life total. How do we keep from dying? Cycle Street Wraith. Faithless Looting. Oh, dear God. Dear God, dear God. Maybe drawing a land is our best bet. Angler discarded, Leyline of the Void, finds another hollow one, and passes. We draw a tap land. Man, they found just enough. Just enough action. We don't have anything good enough to whip back. This land comes into play tap, so we can't Eternal Witness back Wayfinder. We can't we inter Eternal Witness back Llanowar Elves and Chump Chump. But I don't know if that even really helps us that much. We'll play Hissing Quagmire. So if we whip back Seder Wayfinder, we die. If we whip back Crater Hoof, we go up to 13. But then our opponent hits us for at least 10. And we take one here. So we're dead to Lightning Bolt. We're dead to Lightning Bolt close to no matter what. The only way we're not dead to Lightning Bolt is if we go Eternal Witness, get back Llanowar Elves. But that doesn't... <sighs> hmm. Then we're just chump, chump, chumping, which isn't ideal. And that's still not really setting us up for anything next turn. Life would be easier if we had an untap land. The other problem is if we whip back Crater Hoof, we don't really have anything going on next turn. And we probably still just die. All right, let's Eternal Witness. I think this is our best bet. Eternal Witness, get back Llanowar Elves. Llanowar Elves down to seven. Pass the turn. Well, good thing we played around the bolt. Opponent goes attacking, hits us to one. So we have to chump, but I don't think this matters. We're down to two. Opponent flashes back Faithless Looting. Inquisition doesn't really help. And I think this means we're just literally dead. Mind Slicer, we're dead. Shriek Maw, we're dead. Crater Hoof, gain six. Puts us up to eight, but then we're dead. Wow. That's unfortunate. Jeez. All right. A loss is a loss. Wow. We were so close to stabilizing, but wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free, and you can find the next video right here.